just arrived in Ukraine, crossing over from Slovakia. The border crossing was very quiet compared to, for example, the crossing into Poland, where a million people have now, refugees have now gone. There was a, it was really just a very small number of people coming in. Every, on the Slovak side, there were minibuses waiting and maybe every five or ten minutes uh, a minibus full would head off to a reception centre a, a, a few kilometres down the road. Um, coming in, the, as I came through through customs um, and through the, 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 the checkpoints on the Slovak side, um, there were two Ukrainian women bringing in supplies for the Ukrainian army. There were, there were um, thermal rifle scopes, for example, and they were having a lot of trouble um, persuading customs to let them, the, the Slovak customs, to let them take them out. I don't know how that one resolved. Um, we're now driving up to Lviv, where I'm going to be joining my, my colleague, cameraman Phil Caller, um, and I'm going to be based here for the next couple of weeks covering from Lviv what's happening here around Ukraine as well as the, the refugee crisis there. Um, it's a hilly part of the country this, there's snow on the, the ground around us, um, but the road seems fairly, fairly clear. We've been traveling now for about 20-30 minutes, no checkpoints so far, um, all feels fairly normal. So. More to say once I get into, um, more to say once I actually get into Lviv and see what it's like there.